I'll keep it in this position and not too far apart. If it's too far apart, look. it's useless. In, right here. Looking at you, I'm looking at you. Watch, I'm going to turn away. All right. Okay? Which means that you're now exposed to here. Okay? Now my foot's behind you. My foot's behind you, so here. Okay? So my foot is behind to do a sweep. But as I'm, as I'm sweeping, I'm not going to go back because I'm going that way. I'm going in the circle. You're there. So as I sweep, I'm coming around where you are. Right, so you're not going to go get tangled up on the way down? No. The day we did an exercise, you remember? If you strike the chop here. The chop. Yeah. You remember this? Yeah. Do you remember that exercise? Okay. This time we're going to do it from the chop first, yeah. distraction, strike into. Hey! Yeah. Into. Strike. Into slam, into block, into either strangle or arm lock. Okay? I need my hands for other things. Okay? I can also get a break, probably. I don't know. Alright? Alright. Okay. That way. Going up. Sorry, Roger. Oh, sorry. That way. Comes in, same thing again, coming through, striking. We do this because of the weaponry. I want to draw this warrior's sword and kill him. Remember that, it's all based upon sword work. Okay? See Maggie or Goshi, I don't care. Look. So Step, break, sit, apply, over, glass, if I need to, over, if I need to, straight arm lock, if I need to, bent arm lock, sit, strangle, or, if I need to. If you want to do that one, do him a favour, keep one arm straight, all right? Won't hurt so much. I'll circle away from the actual knife. Circle and then I will re-enter underneath and throw my partner to the ground and come back. So we'll do that once more. As the weapon comes, I'll join the circle, enter through, and throw my partner down and keep a distance or re-attack. That's the first version. The second version, if you want to do so, is just to put a little bit of hit into the situation. So we take it again, bring it through, hit, pick, and throw. So I'll show that one again. As it comes, I join, I enter, hit. So get about what you can do from that technique because it comes a bit too advanced and it's too much to remember. Okay, first version. First version. And the second version of using your hip. Hey! And taking the person down. So, Mawashi Gary Jordan, it's going to come into to here to my head. Mawashi Gary for a kick. All right? Gary is a kick. It's a kick. Sorry. Yeah? Okay, yeah? Come on. Yeah? So, it's coming into here. This is where I don't want to be. Yeah? Really, because that, that is the extent of the, of the force of the, the strike. Yeah? So, as he comes in, what I want to do is this. Okay? Okay. Brown. Strangle. Finish. <laughs> okay? Watch again, but do it very, very carefully because we're all very tired. Do it the way I'm showing you. Carefully. Look. Set. Base of the spine. Base of the spine makes that happen. Okay? This arm coming round. 
Jamming. <coughs> Take. If I want to. If I want to. Ooh, if I want to. Right? <laughs> Let him down. I mean, I, I was being quite horrible to him before, but. Eh? Okay. <laughs> Alright, this position here, cross and in. Now, as soon as you come to here, through this way, palm heel to the nose, alright? From here, cut, through, strike. Okay, right. There, move. Come through, strike. Okay, in caught with one of those. Yeah? Yeah? Shakes you to your toes, doesn't it? All right, so people say, yeah, but sensitive, you don't, what if, what if, what if, what if's nothing, okay? Let me come around and hit you there and see if you can what if. <laughs> Ain't gonna happen, all right? Right, from there. That's up! <laughs> Straight in, close. Lock the arm, bang, wear that one. Okay, from here, move, strike, engage, and flatten. Strike. Everyone okay with that? Yes. Let's go and play. Here, this section yeah. will, will collapse. Yeah. So you just come straight down here. Okay? Yeah. So right down. Almost like you've got the old sandbag training. Bang, you know, like that. Straight down. Crack. Right down. Yeah. Yes. Maintaining eye to eye contact at all times. Here. Never taking the eyes off. Hands always in a passive defensive position. Now, you may have to move around this side in a sec because it takes a bit of explaining. It's a very simple, logical technique. But it requires a little bit of explaining because it's a stupidly simple, right? Simple things, simple things take explaining. Right, from here, all we're going to do, you want to feel the point of the knife. If you can't feel the blade, it could be half inch away from you, it could be three inches away from you. Is that a fair comment? Yes. Because if we maintain eye to eye contact, which we probably are, we'll probably go, oh my god, don't do it. <laughs> Just nice and relaxed, mate, all right? Okay, you're not going to be going. You know, <laughs> trying to judge this shit, right? He's going to get really, really angry, all right? So, from here, remember what we said about losing a small quantity of blood? Got our best T-shirt on our best shirt. Push your stomach forward. Feel it. If you can feel it, the most you're going to get is a nick. We're not worried about a nick, are we? Not really. All right? So, from here, turn. Now, it is against me, sight on the front. If you breathe in, at the same time, as you turn sideways, okay, if I just freeze frame it there, because it's, it's fast, where's the cutting edge? It's flat, isn't it? If he drags it backwards, which I'm gonna stop him doing anyway, I've got the flat side, okay? He's not gonna be able to turn it this way because I've already pushed in and stepped on. Look at my elbow. Okay, I'll come on to the lock in a minute. From here, eye to eye contact. Turn yourself, there, back. Strike. Okay, just go for this, this is the complicated bit. From here, breathe in and turn sideways and move onto the weapon, not away from it. From here. See the logic of that? From here, in, turn, strike. Come on the underside of the wrist, keep it teeth. We're now going to put my knee onto the elbow. Place the knee onto the elbow. And remove the knife. Okay, let's just get this trap right. So we'll cover this later anyway, <coughs> later on this afternoon. But from here, there. Turn sideways and cut nice and close. Bang, let him have one. Hand on the other side. Turn it to you and down. In the elbow, remove the knife. Okay, we've got a few minutes left. Just try that trapment first of all. From here, breathe in, <coughs> turn sideways, right? Where do you go? Try and help. Just watch the hands, here. Okay. here. Step in. Take 
Do, as I said before, hold the weapon this way, here, single edged weapon, tucked behind the arm in this manner here. If it's a double edged weapon, the blade will run down the back of the forearm in this position here, completely shielded. Okay? Single edged, it's nicer wrapped up the back for things like kicks, defences against kicks, you want to interplay in the front. A good fighting stance, most stances for knife combat are done with the right leg leading, the weight distribution, concave, slightly bent forward, keep a lower profile, weapon tucked in. This hand, what we call the snake hand, is the hand, like a dummy hand, that is going to be kept up at their eye level, so that they may be aware that the weapon is there, no problem, but also this hand here is going to act as a dummy hand. Because it's human nature, if somebody's waving their hand about your eyes, although you're looking, although you know they've got this, your eyes are still going to be watching all the time and you're watching the hand. If you don't know what this hand's going to do, you can understand the logic behind that. <laughs> Rather than just... Okay, okay. It's, more, it's more there. Nice and low, you don't want to stand it upright. Nice and low, weapon across, waiting for them to make a move. Okay? It's coming round in a circular action. Whether it be a punch, or someone's got a hold of a bottle or a club, and they're going to come round, or and they have a weapon themselves, they're going to come round to you. Anything in a circular action, this way. Do it slowly first of all. Here, as it comes in, you're going to cut through and take the neck. From here, whoops, through. Why some dry guy aren't coming in and running his bicep on the cutting edge? Okay, if you were not the solely on that, so what we're doing from here, as it comes in, we're letting the attacking arm run onto the blade. We're not hacking his arm with the blade, we're just purely bringing the weapon up into a blocking action. His own limb will do the damage. Advancing, we're now going to come under the floating ribs into a clean cut, puncture. Turning the blade, we're now going to come straight across the throat. Okay? Now, until someone invites a Kevlar skull, you're in trouble. All right, when that runs across there, it's curtains. All right, so from here, straight through, nice and fast, straight up. It's more. Is everyone okay with that? Let's give it. same as before, roundhouse. So, there. This time we're going to come much further round. Drive it straight into the groin. There's two men here. Okay. Blocked. Drive the weapon straight into the groin. Through. Gone. Once more slowly. Block. Drive the weapon into the groin. Retract the weapon. Push up and through. Cut. Cut. All right. Nice, you know, 
don't want to cut through the arm. <laughs> right, just come through there. Change your grip. Pull, back. Pull it back. Yes. Over. That comes through, cuts back to the arm. You have to twist the knife yeah, the, like just from there to there. there. Right, so it's only there. Here, lock, punch through on the kidneys. Through, take all the jawline towards you. From here, so all you're going to do is just bring the blade up. The outside, punch through. There. Punch through. Turn the blade towards you, jaw. Is everyone happy with that? Yes. Okay. okay. You'd like to see it again? Yes. Different angle. held in this hand behind the back kept shielded we're going to change our stance to a left hand stance left hand up almost like a come on yeah as if you want them to come in right we're going to do it from a roundhouse strike it doesn't matter whether it's a straight attack because you just push it to one side but just for convenience we're going to do it as a roundhouse attack maybe a club bottle knife anything anything in a circular action as the attack comes in through from here, weapon concealed. Hits up! Straight through, under the groin. Cut the groin. Turn. Change the knees. Position up. Spread the legs. Weapon comes up. And stab to the rectum. Okay. Now, for people who haven't done this technique before, we make the final blow into the, uh, into the anus, into the, re the rectum. Sorry? It can't be repaired. Fair comment. Anything else? That's more to the point. You can't stop it bleeding. If you receive a bullet or a knife wound, what's the first thing you do to the, to the wound? Apply pressure. Apply pressure. Have you ever tried applying pressure to someone's anus? And behind. And right through, under the groin. Cut the groin on the inside of a fine female artery. Change knees, come through, and finish. Okay, once more for this angle. Hit! Ah! Puncher. Through. Cut. Through. Change. Spread the legs. And away we go. Alright? Just a little point on the turn. Watch closely. From here. Through. Strike. Come through. Bring the hand down to the wrist. And in. Then bury. Okay. Through. Strike. 
bridge up. Once you're up, you don't need the lift anymore. Bring the hand down to the weapon hand and secure the weapon hand in and bury. Okay? You understand that? and under the throat. Strike, through, over the top, and cut up. Back straight, pull the nose to the left, pull the Adam's apple to the right hand side. Everyone okay with that? Yes. Okay, you'll feel this in a minute. It's, uh, it's quite effective. There's the choke. Now, I defy any one of you to escape from that. Anyone don't believe me? Okay, excellent. I'm so glad you said that. All right. In here, you got complete control. Take the arm and kneel down. If I straighten my groin up now, I'll break his arm. Just by pushing my pelvis forward, I've got an arm break. Maintaining pressure on the throat, I'm going to turn the person over onto his belly. We're going to place the hand. Do you remember earlier on about the jawline? Flat on the jaw. And there's the lock. OK? From here, maintain the left hand on. Take the right hand off. And get a lock. OK? Simple so far? Right. This is extremely uncomfortable, so I'm going to do it very, very slowly for him. All right? <laughs> OK. From this lock, I'm going to come up onto my left leg. Maintain this lock. I'm going to take this limb ah. and put it behind my head. Starting with the neckline, we're going to check the neck right round to the front. I'm going to come down the breastbone, the waist, into the waistband of the trousers. No drugs or weapons. Take my leg on the outside. Seat the pants. Now, at all times, see where his arm is? At all times, it's locked up. Just try and move your arm for me. Uh, no. Okay, see. you can't do it. It's just body mechanics. You can't move. But it enables me to quite nicely move right round. Okay, I'm reasonably happy that there's nothing there. I'll come back over this side. I'll take his arm off. I ah. always maintain the ability to break his shoulders. I do it nice and slowly because he ain't going to do nothing. Now I can take that one out because I'm substituting for this one. Left knee down, right knee up. Take the arm behind. I... Now I've already done the neck, I've already done the trunk, and I've already done the waistband. So all I've got to do now is just concentrate on that leg. Fair enough? Was... Put his arm down. Come back on top. I... I've now searched him for weapons and any uh, recreational pharmaceuticals. <laughs> OK? I'm now going to have him up on his feet. So, I'm going to put my hand into his collar. <clears throat> I'm going to take my index finger and put my index finger under his nose. If you want to come in the front, this is extremely unpleasant. I, I really wish I didn't have to do it to him. <laughs> <laughs> Index finger under the nose. Put the finger onto the lip 
and onto the top set of the teeth and run your finger over his top teeth to the gum. See that? Onto the lip and hook the gum up. Sliding your finger across the top set of the teeth, we're going to hook his gum. Would you like to come up, sir? Aye. Excellent. Holding his gum, we let him go no farther than there. No further than that. Right, through, wrap up, and up it comes. Strike. Maintain the ability to choke. Hook the arm. Kneel down. If you want to, break it. That will snap it. Roll over. And press. Lock. Okay, now come where you can see, please. Get a bit slippery, isn't it? Okay. Is everyone okay on that first bit? Right. From here, take the arm, lock it behind, start with the neck, search the neck, chest, sternum, all the hollows of the body, waistband, favourite place for small calibre pistols and things. Okay, quite happy there. That is his groin guard, I can feel a hope. Otherwise, he's extremely worried and jealous. <laughs> Down his leg. Get rid of his arm. Maintain the ability to break. Lock this one up. Lock him up again. Just carry out a search of this leg. Okay. I'm quite happy with that. This is the key to the whole thing. Maintaining this ability on this lock here. Get a hold of his collar. He's not going to move. Just try and move for me. I mean, you really can't. You see him, he can't move. Index finger under his nose, onto his lip, hook his lip, hook his gum. Okay, can you come up, sir? Aye. Excellent. Up you come. Nice and easy, sir. All right, just wait there for me. Excellent. Up you come. There he goes. And walking backwards. Why? True. What else? In control. in control, what else? If you're in a club and somebody decides to turn into a Wild West bar and they start throwing pint pots and ashtrays, there's my shield. All the time. Yeah? Let him take, let him take the knocks. Yeah? Four. One. High block. Two. I give a strike. One. Two. Break our bows. So we want to pick up the foot action. So it's soft, a little bit faster. Go.
us. So attacker attacks the face. Okay? So we're here, we bounce. Us. And since it's a great truck ram, it attacks my face. So straight forward. And he has a long strike. So maybe a long, can you do a long right. nukita for me, Phil? So if he does a long nukita, he's going to hit me in the face. So what we do is we step back. In, in good karate, if he strikes, we don't want to push. Because now, if I bring my bow back, he brings the bow back. We both hit each other. But I want to display. So when he strikes, yeah! That's a straight go. Long strike go. That's a straight, one more time go. So we twist and we bounce back in a straight position. Always protect, we call it protecting the center line. Okay? So that's one. Second part is he carries here. Can you stare there for him, please? So one. Excellent. Very, very good. Okay. Let's we'll just start with a basic movement. One. Perfect. Great. And back. From this position, can you just hit my leg? Or, sh or should I say, can you hit at my leg? <laughs> There's a big difference. There's a big difference. <laughs> and back to come on. So very, very slow. One. Two. Three. Plus, just with the long one. Perfect. Great. So lock and just come back. So nice and slow. Ready? Edge. My position. Right foot forward. So let's just do one part. So hands up again, please. Step back, middle block. Hit to the face. Overhead strike. Okay, perfect. So one more time. Step back, middle block. Overhead strike. Okay. And then we're going to use a low block when they come back. The other side. Right foot forward. Strike. Okay. Then block. We did all the blocks already. We're here. Leg strike. We did all these techniques before. Circle back. Okay. You guys are awesome students. Your practice could be cleaner. So good stances. Can we recognize the forward stance? Just because you have a stick in your hand, let's not forget our basics here. So forward stance. Good. That's the attack. Okay. Now we defend. Next, take a watch that's head stance. Good. Very, very good. Now we want to step forward and strike. Very good. Look at his foot. That's a pressure point right there. strike to my face, and I can use this movement as a block. Okay. If he strikes to my face, I can use that movement as a, as a pressure point strike, so I won't break the wrist. Okay. Or I can use that movement, so when he strikes, I yield, and then I disarm. So we have, every movement has three possibilities. A block, which is the most dangerous one. Second is hitting the point in the hand. Third is disarm, where we move forward. Okay. So that could be our technique. So if he strikes again, I can use this movement as a block. I can use this movement as a wrist strike. I can use this movement as a block. Okay? We have a hip flex, that's very important. So there's a hip strike. If your body pushes you straight, this is nothing, but if I move my hip, and the body, the weight goes forward. This moves the hip. So every movement has three applications block, strike, or disarm. Okay? So we want to do just a basic combination. So just from ready position, you can you just do overhead strike for me? Now we block like this, push really hard. Okay? So 
but that's not really a block. So he hits again. Okay, he will break my thumb. Push a little bit. If it's hard, my thumb breaks. So we don't want to hit in the thumb. When he strikes over top, what we do is we gently roll our bow in the pressure point. So can you make a fist for me? Okay. Drop your bow. We have four points in our wrist. Okay. Okay, this is auxiliary point. One, two, three, four. And a top point, which is five. So watch. Point number one. Does it hurt? Listen. Okay, good. Point number two. Does it hurt? Listen. Okay. Point number three. E. E. <laughs> Ah, ah, different sound. Ooh. Oh, okay, so we have three points. So it doesn't matter how he strikes, maybe you're both. If he strikes, just up, like, stay there. Okay. Like this, like this, like this, like this. The hand is always available for you, okay, so it makes no difference. So what we want to do is, we talk about morality of martial arts, okay? So if he strikes, this is one way of doing technique. And I'm constantly hurting. Or this is another way of doing technique. That's another way. So you have a choice. You can either hurt somebody or just stop the attack. So you have a choice. You can do either one. Okay? So what we want to do is when he strikes, we gently want to touch the fingers. Okay? So the hand is pretty loose. So when I pull my foot back and I strike, the bow disappears. Okay? And as I strike forward, his body bends. Bring the bow forward, we rake the foot. Okay? And it's very easy to come down with your palm. So just moving forward from overhead strike. We plan these techniques for months. We've been rehearsing for months. Because one, one thing, whenever we do something, we don't have any planned drills ever. You know, so, have, you know, so he's just swinging and I'm defending. So nice and easy. One, now the hand is two. As we strike the foot, I want to drive the bow forward, picking it up, so hit pressure point. So watch me. That's one idea. Other idea is here. It's almost like rowing. Okay. Rowing back. So I'm here and I want to strike the shin. And I use the knee as a fulcrum. So I push, fire. And from this position, you can stand up or if you fall down. And what we practice is, as I strike, you should be able to block from a down position. That's perfect, excellent. Okay, so just nice and easy. Let's try it. Doing back lifts and kip ups is option. Okay, so just nice and easy. One, two, three, four, five. Can we just, for ease, can we just do this? When you're down, just here. Perfect, great. Hang on, back lifts. So let's put it together. Slow. One, two, four. That's optional. Okay. Let's try it. Can you stand up? Okay. This is, can you grab your ball for me, please, sir? And we back. So, some, a lot of people, there is a lot of, you know, it's T techniques which involve throwing and stuff. And some of them are, can you just do a face strike for me? A face strike for me. When I go like this, can you do a break before we do anything? Okay, so you correct. Just drop your ball, go. Go. Pretty good, eh? Okay, very good. Okay. So, perfect. You strike again. Stay there. When I go this way, can you break call for me? Pretty good, right? Okay, he's just throwing himself. <laughs> I'm doing nothing. So strike again. Can you do? Just fall back. Can you do a rolling break call? Can you just fall back and roll over? Just fall back, roll over. Okay. Very good, right? Okay. This is that's not real. That's not real. Martial arts. Okay. So I'm programming him what to do, and he's my student. So when I touch him, he's going to fall down. Fall down. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so when we throw, it's a little different. Can you do a head strike for me? Okay. When, we, when we block, we throw this way. Are you all right? Does it hurt? Yes, it's okay. Could you sit down for me? Okay. Can you stand up for me? No, no, just stand up. On your toes? Can you step on your toes? Okay. Can you go over this way? Can you roll for me? Stop squeezing. <laughs> He's okay. okay. So we, we, we throw by traffic. Okay. So you have to have pain to control somebody. Okay. Or only fight your students. Okay. So we're going to do very basic drills. So I won't squeeze. Can I just get you in this position? So we're going to just try, try this. And judo, call, which you call me, in and out, right? So just easy grab. So a lot of, lot of, lot of the blocking position of non we have the blocking grab. And then just gently come up. If you wanted to kill jiu-jitsu, you can hit my bow to his pressure point in the net. That's the two things. So you do those two things. So you should change angle for me, sir. Feel free to fall down, sir. Okay. So when he strikes, move gently, control. Okay. Can you step on the toes a little bit for me. Oh, excellent. Very good. So I'm gonna pick up the bow. I want to take my bow, and I want to hit his neck. Okay. Now, if you open, let go. Perfect. Just take both back. Both back. Let's just start nice and slow. It is very easy to break somebody's fingers. 
Please go very, very slow. Thank you very much, sir. Fantastic rolling. Sir. Rolling chancellor. Right, I'll stop squeezing if you stand up. First, right? I'm just, I'm doing some scatter. But we're going to do it to the front. So can we begin in this position like so? This is our turn. Right foot forward. We just do that to the back. Okay? So it's easier practice this way. Very good. Now change your right hand. Change your left hand just to the palm. Step forward. Strike the floor. The palm is supporting. Very good. Grab the bow. Come up into upper kamai. The left hand, so watch from here. By pulling the right hand, we do this to the bow. So if you take your right hand speedily back, Rotate the bow forward. Good. Now drop, middle one, to the throat or eye. Change your left hand. Stand up, change your right hand. Side, no problem. Take the left hand back. Slide feet together, throw. And left feet again. It's a very short cut up, but it's very difficult. There's a lot of hand changes. Okay? So from right foot back. Right foot forward, left foot back there. Step, strike. Upper, come on. Short block. Just here, listen. Okay. Inside block. Slide. Take the bow, change the hands. Horse stance. Horse, good she go down. Now take the hand back. Side position, hip. Good. And back. Right hand. Look this. You gotta grab this. Can't see through. You're a great student, but you're not made of black. Okay? So, we are in this position here. Just finish like this. We take the hand back to the distance, and we do this motion. We drop the bow low, and we do a strike over the top. So, this is kind of a neutral position. So, from here, strike. Way, just block. Good position, right foot. 
is forward. We're still using the right foot in a back stance. Hand is here. So without a jumping. Right back, left back. Step forward strike. Back. Right back, left knee up. Step in and strike. Right, left. Step back and strike. Okay. Stay there, please. This position. Now, if you want to jump, it's just this. That's all. Okay. One. Good. And up. Very nice. Good. And back. Let's just practice this jump. Okay. Super. So right, and then hold the left foot up. Yep. Perfect. And back. Very, very good. High jump. Very skillful. Jump. Good. And back. Just here. So we don't step back. So the first one we stood back, this one we keep our weight here. Okay? This is a very unusual movement. We take our weight back okay? and we drill the bow downwards behind us. We'll go through the application. Okay? Then we have this much left. Here, 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 here. That's all. That's all. Okay? So good luck. Okay? So we're almost there. So we just did our so we did our jump strike. Right? Strike. Watch the body change. Just shift. Okay. Forward stance. Can't recognize some of the stances. So forward stance. Okay. Right foot touches the left. Perfect. Very good. Hand back. Grab a seat, please. Let's go. supports it. Big block. Slide throw. Take back. Change grip. Side strike. Slide feet together. Okay. Turn strike. Okay. Now, don't you get a little bit slower? So watch the movements. Take the hand back. Roll. Step strike. Okay. Cat stance. Stab. Slide back to my position. Jump. Sense position, strike. Yeah. Turn. Good. Feet together. Take your weight back a little bit and forward. Attack, twist. Good. Step up, snap up. Good, Good weight. Now your weight, it's it, when it goes forward, we take it back like a weight, natural and quick. Go. Could be your time, so it's long. So it's your hands kind of hit together. Go. Part, there you go. Next. It just the more you use, the, more, the easier it's to block. Okay. When you begin very simple martial arts, you want to do a lot more with less. Okay, that's because you get all okay, that's right. So nice and quick. Go. Good. Fantastic. Good cast stance of this one. Pull it back a bit. Perfect. Heel down. Step up. Step down. Perfect. Very, very good. Hand bow. Let's give a nice hand. Very nice. And open up. 
perfect. The hand has to go up. Low block twist. Hold the position, okay? So he's got big displacement, so the whip's right across. Pull back and strike. Cat stance position. Okay? Good. If you're going to hit the floor, you have to relax your hand when the bow breaks. Strike. Back. Turn. Twist hit. Low strike. Okay. Pick up the bow a little bit higher. Strike. Change hands. Slow. Nice and slow. Strike. Change hands. Strike. Cat stance. First key up. Okay. Foot up. Twist low. Step back. Low blow. Change grip. Strike the floor. Come back into Kamai position. Inside block. Big Uchiuka block. Slide. Side strike. Slide up. Twist. Strike. Change the hand. Pull the hand back. Roll. Cat stance. Stab. Hold the position so the weight is back forward. Okay? So when he does a strike, so whenever he, any kind of strike, the counter movement is just moving back. So if you just go back in the back stance, you know, stay right, stay right there for me. Go back in the back stance. It's hard to block. So we always move back one foot. Go back. That, the block is really just a movement itself. Now what happens with the bow, can I just grab your, your very fancy bow here? Yeah, this kind of always confusing. So from this kind of position, all this is, is this. So That's all it is. Okay, so we tap. So if he does a strike toward me, I, I strike, he blocks the back. No, just, can you just go back to the mic? Yes. No. So he blocks like this. So what happens is I take my other hand, he's blocking here. Okay. The harder he hits this part of the bow, the faster it hits his leg. Okay. So we don't fight the weapon. If he hits me, I don't take the shock and then have something else. If he hits it hard, I just let it drop. Okay. So that's that's why we jump back. Thank you very much, sir. So we jump back, jump, step forward, strike. Cat stance, strike. Feet are almost the same, we just step across and block. Perfect. Step up, feet together. I want you, he's unbalancing, we'll go through the applications more. He unbalances, twist. That, that movement is one of the throws we do. When you grab the bow and you twist, you're actually breaking somebody's shoulder. Okay? This is very corresponding if you do a cut up, uh, make your shoulder and cut up. This, this kind of, it's very much like that. Okay? So step up and snap. Strike. Cast stance. That's clear. That's very good. Can we do one last half, please? You, you count. Cool. Enjoy. Thank you. Great.
Где будет кого? Где там? Не? А если кататься, 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 Do the step after the strike. You just change up and straight forward like this. <coughs> Next strike. Turn the behind. Like this. Okay. After the strike, turn around. 